Hi everyone, welcome to the video. In this video, we are going to see a integration with the Bruno CLI and GitHub Actions. How you can automate your CI/CD pipeline or API collections or API suite with GitHub Actions and Bruno CLI. So, for the people who don't have uh, who don't have configured a npm package, which which is the Bruno CLI. Bruno CLI is the npm package, and if you haven't configured that, so you can just quickly configure with the Bruno CLI. I already have created a separate video called Bruno CLI where you can see all these things how how you can run your collection request folder and all these parameters which are documented here. Feel free to watch that video and set up a Bruno CLI. In this video, we are going to see GitHub Actions how you can create a GitHub Actions flow with a Bruno CLI and how you can automate uh, stuff there. So for the people who don't know uh, what GitHub Actions, so GitHub Actions is a CI/CD pipeline which are automation tools which helps you. to automate your manual tasks or repeated tasks just like uh, testing few things you need to test again and again you don't need to get bother or waste your time to test these things every time you build something so you can write a yaml configurations or you know github actions and put your all the repetition tasks there just like installing a particular package or automating few stuff and you can just push it to github github action is really popular and i personally use for my smaller or mid size project because this gives a more better way to interact with a git and git actions because it's a part of that and i like this feature i like this tool and how you can do that with a bruno cli we're going to see that in this video so here are prerequisites which you need and this is a project structure we have to follow and this is a script we are going to exactly uh, copy from here so for that we are going to need a same environment which is a uh, it is the actions which are doing here and these are the jobs we are executing and then we will run this command and we'll see that we are able to generate result.html file or not so once you do that uh, you will learn how to integrate github actions with the bruno cli for the github actions for the people who don't know you can start from here you can just go to github action documentation and let's say understand the github actions you will understand the runners jobs uh, jobs number of tasks you want to Uh, automate and actions that what are the actions you want to perform on that particular task what to execute runners and the stuff so these are the documentation which you are going to follow along this tutorial so let's start with the first thing we have a git setup make sure that you have a github repository and git installed and this is a project structure we are going to follow so i will just quickly go to bruno i will create a collection called git actions and i will select a location and i will just create that and once you created you can add a new request make a post and say echo bruno and i will add here a call echo bruno dot is bruno dot com echo dot is bruno dot com and i will just execute this so for the parameter because we are going to use a so for the requirement we are going to use a ci environment in our automate script so i am going to create a similar environment here and i will going to add a same name called ci and i'll add a variable called url i will just paste this i will save this and i will just close this box and i will just say base url and if i execute that it's executing correctly so everything looks good everything works better i'll just add something in a body just to make sure we'll receive something bruno and i will execute that right now we are done with the setup and we will open this same setup inside a bruno inside a cursor feel free to use any other code editor and we'll add a github workflow as we have mentioned to create a folder and we will add this file called api test yaml we'll copy this and we'll push code to github so i will just quickly check the location which i have and i have this users uh, bruno git actions and i will and i will just quickly open this inside a my cursor don't know what we have git actions we have a git actions and navigate to that and just say i just want to check the what are the files we have environments everything looks good so here is my cursor screen and i have opened this inside a cursor uh, and let's get started with how can set up the things which i have documented here so first thing we have to just initialize the git repository so i would say git init once you do that you have to add changes and git commit added a new git action workflow and i would just rename this branch to main clear and i'll just make a font 
zoom level a bit big just to make sure everything looks good so right now we change these uh, to main and i would just say git mode add uh, git action example git right now we don't have the url uh, this is something that which i so this is something which i have which i am going to create on uh, github so i would say git actions only if you go to browser on your github account this is my bruno github account and i would say new repository and i would add git actions the git actions already available okay so we'll say git action demo and we have this name and i would create a repository and i would just change this git actions demo so i will go to my cursor and say git actions demo and i will add this remote and i would say git push origin main so once you do that if you go to browser again and if you just refresh this page you will see you have this uh every information available on your uh, github account so right now we are going to follow the documentation and i would going to say make directory and this is something uh, which will create a dot github folder inside that workflow and demo.yaml file so we have this folder uh, demo.yaml so here is the uh, uh, i check the documentation so we have to we already do this i just need to delete a file uh, demo.yaml because it is not a part of that this is a part of workflow folder and here i have to create you will say api test yaml and right now it's a part of that and i'm going to copy the same script which you have on the documentation i copied the script and if i go here i added the script here as you can see i have this copied script here i have added this i would just say save and if you do git status it will show you that we have this folder to we have this folder to add in our staging area i added i'll just say git commit and we have say added a git added a git action work flow now and i would just push to git origin main so once you, once i will push this so it will create a action tab in action tab it will create a complete structure of how this things going to execute which i'm going to see and just a basic scenario this is just a basic explanation of what it is i will just quickly minimize this and i would say these are the uh, script which this is the name of my script and the script is doing that so whenever i will push something on a main branch or uh, whatever the pull request which are going to generate on the main branch only so it will run this all the jobs so this jobs have this task where i have this uh you can say the steps where check out this and this is the action which i'm using um and then i would say install a node js so it's going to install a node 20 and then it will set up a bruno cli so you have to install a bruno cli in your ci pipeline or you know environment and then you have to run api with this uh file and it will just uh, with this command it will gen generate a result.html uh, it will upload the file in that artifact section and we will just download that file just check to what it is just check uh, the content of it and just understand how you can do that and how it will helpful so i will just maximize this terminal back and i will say git push origin once you do that all changes are already pushed to your browser and right now if i refresh this you will see the latest changes which is added a git actions workflow if i go to action page and right now it's executing and you can see the number of which steps it's running and it's taking some time it will install it's installing it will generate a html file and once you do that it will done and execute all the things so it's executing that it's done and it successfully generated a file as you can say you will once you done that you will get a green mark green tick mark from github action that these jobs are executed successfully and once you do that you can go to your file and you can say this is the test which we executed and once you do that this is a completed job this is my workflow file 
So this is my workflow file and if you go to this uh, github actions you will see we are able to generate test.result.html and we did a way to follow the same thing which is available here which is result.html and and we can download this file and you can see the content of it once you do that you can just say so once you download that you can open this file and it will just give the nice summary of what are the request is number of request and all this stuff and according to that you will just measure the performance of your api you will figure out everything looks uh, everything works uh, in a right way with the right approach and if it, any particular request is failed you can get back to a, your engineering team and fix the issue and get back to again you can push these things and put the code into prod so this is how you can just save your time by automating stuff and make sure that you are pushing a reliable uh, sustainable sustainable software application there instead of uh, putting a buggy code or not taking care of these test cases you can make sure that everything looks uh, better everything is passing uh, all test cases are passed and you are pushing a like production level application to the you can you are deploying a production level application to a prod so you can do a lot of configuration to a yaml file so here is a very basic configuration that we have but you can put a lot of conditions here that if you have particular staging area like like a prod local and they and if your particular test case is fail in which um, scenario which which section you have to put that in a prod or uh, a dev if your test cases are passed then you have to put your all the code into a prod and all this condition you can set up in your configuration so you can do that feel free to explore and feel free to read the documentation uh, feel free to share your feedback feel free to join our discord server so if you can if you want to discuss anything or if you have any issue you can put there and there are 2000 plus people who can help you with all the your queries and all this stuff and it's a better way to communicate so be the part of bruno discord community we are growing on our discord so feel free to share your feedback in the comment section thanks for watching this video see you in the next one